Welcome to C video tutorial. In this session, I am going to teach you identifiers. In a last class, I have explained the keywords, which are also the one of the C tokens. So, in this class, I will explain you the identifiers. So, coming to the identifiers, what are identifiers? So the identifiers, the name only indicates it is used to identify a variable. In a C program, each program elements are given a name that is called as identifiers. It is not only to identify a variable, it also used to identify a function, array, etc. For example, if a man he doesn't have the name. So, it is very difficult to identify the person who he is. So, once if we give the name for him, it is very easily to identify who he is. So, in the same way, in order to identify a variable or the function or arrays, it is very easy if we give the name. So, the identifiers are very necessary in a C program. Example is if we give the int x. So, the x is a name of a variable of type int. So, if it does not give the variable name as x, 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 it is very difficult to what it is. So, in order to make it easy, we are going to name name the variable. So, here x is an identifier of type int. So, there are certain rules in order to follow while constructing the identifiers in a C. What are the rules? The first character should be an alphabet or a underscore. That is a first rules. That is, first character should be always an alphabet such as A to Z. A to Z. It's an alphabet. It may be a smaller case or a upper case. It should be an alphabet or underscore. Underscore in the sense like this. Should be always started with the alphabets or a underscore. For example, I will give here in order to make you easy. Give int. I will give s. That is a starting with an alphabet. Another example is starting with an underscore. Like uh, int underscore s. Yes. Like that. That is starting with an alphabet. Any alphabet that is A to Z, another one is starting with an underscore. That is the first rules in order to construct an identifier. Second rule is that succeeding characters might be a digits or a letter. Means, suppose the first character is always an integer. Uh, sorry. It should be an alphabet or an underscore. The succeeding characters, there should be a digits or a letters. Like uh, example is that um, int suppose s. Yes, the succeeding characters may be a, a digits or a letters like this. This is the example for the digit succeeding characters. We give the um, letters also like this. So, these are the second rule. The second rule is that succeeding character must be a digits or a letter. The third rule is that punctuation and Special characters aren't allowed expect underscore. In the sense, 
the punctuation and there are some special characters they are not allowed only the underscore are allowed for example if we give the int yes we can use underscore one like this but we cannot use any of the punctuation or the special characters for example if you give int uh, dollar these are not allowed it's an uh, wrong it's an error so we cannot use the punctuation or a special characters uh, and expect the underscore underscore can be used that is the third rule and the last rule is that the identifier should not be a keyword we have mentioned there are number of keywords available in the C. These are the keywords. So, this keyword should not be an identifier. For example, if we take the um, else, I will take it as else. For example, if I give the int else, it should not be given. This name should not be given. Why? Because it is an what keyword. Keywords are not allowed uh, while naming the identifiers. Okay, the keyword should not be an identifier. So, these are the four rules while constructing an identifier. So, what identifier? Identifiers are to identify in variable functions or arrays. There are four rules in order to construct an identifier. The first rule is that. Uh, the first character should be an alphabet or a underscore. The second rule is that succeeding characters might be a digits or a letters. The third rule is that punctuation and special characters should not be used expect underscore. Underscore can be used but the punctuation and the special characters should not be used. And the last one is that the identifier should not be a keyword. These are the four rules for constructing identifiers. Hope you understand this uh, session. I will explain you the next C tokens that is a constants in another video. Thank you. Have a nice time.